Good morning. As you can probably tell, we're not at home at the moment. I am actually at a holiday rental of a friend. Santi and I have had to leave the farm for a few weeks and we're going to be staying here. So yeah, this week has been a little bit chaotic so far. The work started yesterday. We are getting our roof changed. <laughs> We weren't expecting to take the roof off the house that we've just been decorating and renovating on the inside. Uh, it's not the traditional way around you would do a renovation, but uh, that's what's happening. So it's lunchtime day one and this is where we've got two. We've got most of one side of the roof off, just a little strip here in the middle left to do. These are all the tiles that have come off so far, a lot of bags of rubble. And this is a good opportunity to see what's actually in this roof. This is the original roof so we can see how it was constructed. We've got the tiles on the top layer which are held in place with a kind of mud mortar, which is this stuff which just comes apart and crumbles in your hand. We've got canes laying in this direction, under and in between the mud mortar, mostly under I think. If there's any mud mortar that's gone beneath it's just because it's fallen through. Underneath there we've got a big gap basically, uh, that's where all the rats live. I wonder how many dead rats they're going to pull out of this during the work. You can see the horizontal beams here, I think, and also some vertical beams and then attached to these vertical beams if you can see is more wood and that's actually the wood that you can see from the inside as well. So we're going to take all of this off, we're going to go down to the beams and we're going to keep the wooden backing which is like the ceiling on the inside and we're going to put on top of that the new roof. So yeah we definitely weren't planning on taking the roof off the house at this point. If we had we obviously would have done it before we did a lot of the indoor renovations. But we just kind of realised the other day that if we don't do it now, well, Mauro is on his paternity leave, we're really not going to get it done, probably, in the next few years, or at least the next couple of years, because I just can't see how I could deal with the disruption of having the roof taken off and having to move out, live somewhere else, not be able to use the upstairs room for however many weeks it takes whilst Mauro is still working. So we thought we would bite the bullet and do it now. We've also had a frugal few months with the hospital and going back and forth and just not really investing in any projects, buying anything in terms of materials, not going out or really doing much. Our only expense for the last, I don't know, five, six months has been fuel to get back and forth from the hospital. So we had the money to do it now and we thought we'd better just do it. Just come to the polytunnel to collect some washing. Thank you to whoever told me that the polytunnel is a great place to dry your clothes. It works amazing. They dry in literally a couple of hours if it's a sunny day. Even in the winter it's amazing. But yeah, where was I? Um, we said we thought we would do it now because yeah, it's just the best chance to do it. Although it seems like a crazy time to do it, I think it is actually the best time that we're going to find. When we moved in and we originally had a look at the roof, we thought that it had about at least five years left in it but the last year or so it's been increasingly leaky and we had a little look under some of the tiles just to see what state it was in the other day and I think it's a bit worse than we originally thought. The cane layer which is basically the only layer forming any like support for everything that comes on top is pretty rotten it just crumbles in your hands so it really had to be done. I am glad we're getting it done it's going to be a stressful few weeks but I think it's really going to be worth it. I just hope the weather holds out we're not expecting any rain in the next few weeks but uh yeah fingers crossed because it would not be a good time we're on day two today we had a delivery of all the materials that we need for uh the building so i've been helping the guys unload everything because as you will see in the footage the truck uh the lorry that came was too big to come down all the way here so we unloaded everything and then we loaded everything into the car and like did a couple of trips so we have scaffolding sand wood uh, cement and a couple more things and 
they are probably gonna finish emptying the roof from all the rubble, which there is a lot, but I think they're gonna finish today. So we're on day three, um, today we put the insulation in between all the beams and then put the wooden boards, uh, the wooden yeah, planks boards on top. I uh, didn't get a chance to record a lot but this is what it looks like at the end. Today is not a good day. I'm back at the house. Um, I haven't been here for a few days. I don't know what Mauro has managed to film, but um, according to him it's been quite chaotic and difficult to film anything. So we'll see what you've seen. But today I'm here because Mauro has had to go to Castellon for an appointment about his eye. Um, if you remember, a few months back he had surgery on his eyes. I have my right pupil very dilated and one of them has still been giving him some trouble so he's he needs to go and get that seen so i'm here with the dogs and the baby and uh, the work has actually stopped today today we have had the most insane wind it's actually been quite scary <laughs> it's just quietened down now otherwise i will go and show you but uh yeah i hate the wind it's if there was one weather that i could just cancel for sure it would be the wind like what's What's even the point of it? It doesn't even do anything good. It just destroys everything you've done, blows everything around, makes everything ten times more complicated and... Everywhere I look there's stuff that's been blown. <sighs> or stuff missing from where it should have been. <laughs> and clearly it isn't anymore. Probably somewhere across some neighbour's field. The donkey got spooked by the wind and busted out of the door this morning while we were feeding him, while Mauro was feeding him, which uh, was also not what we wanted, just as we were trying to leave the house to go to an appointment in town. And uh, here's the main issue that the wind has caused us. Yeah, that's our bell tent. That was our bell tent. It is completely ripped as you can see there's the pole from the middle here's where it's ripped along the edge some of the pegs are still in the pegs are all right it's not the pegs that broke it's the actual canvas itself to be honest i'm not surprised about this at all i'm in fact more surprised that the polytunnel over there is still standing i really did think that we were not going to have a polytunnel or a bell tent after this wind and i'm really not surprised about the bell tent at all what had happened a few months back which we just hadn't really had the chance to fix or or look into is that a little bit of canvas near the um, stove had ripped we had a stove pipe coming out of the bell tent and it had blown uh, sideways in some wind previously and it had just ripped a little bit of the um, canvas near where the stove was installed and I knew that that was going to be a weak point because it just so happened that, that that side of the tent was the side that we always get the wind from and now we had a hole in the side of that tent so next time we got strong wind I just knew it was going to come in and just like destabilize the bell tent from the inside because it's when you get air in that it's like really problematic so I kind of expected that and this is exactly what's happened clearly the canvas was not in very good condition either you can see that it's got a kind of mold on it that's our bad um we should have protected it better it's been quite a long time actually since we've really treated the bell tent as somewhere where people can stay it's mostly been a storage place uh most of this year really since my mom was here in february we have occasionally had visitors in it but we're not really <laughs> treat we haven't been treating it as a suitable place for people to stay in for a long time because of the mold and just because of general deterioration because we don't look after it properly. So yeah, this is the situation we've got now. Earlier, before Mauro went out, we just quickly moved a few of our most valuable things that were in here, either into the house or into the polytunnel, which miraculously still seems to be standing. 
Oh, we've still got that chair that we need to move. I quite like that chair. Maybe that's it for the rain though, so maybe, maybe we'll be safe to leave the rest out. Other problems. So we also have no water. Get off my hat. That's my hat. Ow, 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 ow. Ow! <laughs> get off, get off, get off. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh look, the oranges are turning. That's nice. There's our channel that goes to the deposit. And I'm not sure if you can see behind me, but the level is a little bit lower than we would want, <laughs> given that we're not actually using any water for irrigation. It's just evaporating and it's not being replaced. I mean, it's fine. It's not about to run out any minute now, but it's obviously a problem that needs to be fixed because we do lose a fair amount just to evaporation every day in both of our deposits and we can't carry on like that for much longer so we're gonna have to try and look into that at the weekend i guess the wind has brought down a lot of olives as well you can see all over the floor let's have a look at the terrace that's a lot of weight on this terrace when we started this job the builders were like how much weight can your terrace hold <laughs> and we were like we don't know now i realize why they asked that question because i have a feeling it's going to hold the weight of the entire roof as they take it off <laughs> so this is the state of the roof at the moment they came this morning and they battled the wind to cover it in tarps because we're also expecting rain well we were and then we weren't and now i'm not sure it kind of looks like it's blown over so this work might all have been for nothing, but better safe than sorry, I guess. Oh, look what they've invented <laughs> to hold the tarp down. That's my kettlebell, bucket of water. <laughs> yeah, it's literally just got super quiet. The wind has just died completely, kind of eerie. So the internet is knocked out. I don't know if the builders did something by accident or knocked it or the wind, I really don't know. Don't know if I should be touching this. Ooh, echo. Could it be that it just got really dusty with all the work? I don't know. Anyway, no internet. No work happening on the roof until the rain and the wind have passed. So yeah, not a great day. It feels like things are falling apart in one place as fast as we fix them somewhere else. But uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do, I guess, once the weather breaks and we get a bit of a break in this wind and this rain, because right now we really can't do anything. <laughs> is we still have a greenhouse okay so I'm back this video is gonna be windy there's just no way I'm gonna be able to record audio in good conditions so I'm I'm sorry just hurry put some titles um, so yeah it's been the, the windiest night ever I don't know that I've ever seen in the a town two towns over I recorded winds of 160 kilometers per hour which is insane I can't even imagine that uh, so I was quite scared of coming back and just seeing what damage that cost. Uh, but so far it's been all right. Like we have a roof, we still have a roof, which is a good thing. And now uh, I'm feeding the donkey. The donkey hasn't escaped like he has yesterday. Bye donkey. He likes to have his morning oats, same as me. Um, this is not, this is something we're still getting used to, but wind so far has been our biggest enemy in terms of uh, just natural phenomenon, <laughs> phenomenon that, that happen uh, around here. It's one of those things that maybe happens once a year, twice a year, but when it happens, it really happens. You feel like it's not worth preparing for, but it's actually really worth preparing for because when it happens, it's just chaos. Yeah, I was wearing sunglasses because of all the dust flying around. I just have so much dust in my eyes and I can't really afford that at the moment. Um, so yeah, wind. It has this ability to uh, show you all your weaknesses and show like everywhere where you've been slacking off and, and like left something outside and that thing blew over you're gonna find it somewhere where you don't expect 
and yeah, win. Good morning, it's the weekend, it's Sunday and uh, work obviously isn't happening on the house at the weekend but we've come over and we're going to try and pick some olives maybe just do a couple of trees and see what we get That branch up there is the one So they cut it? I give up. This is a super job to try and do on your own. It's just impossible. Look at this. Pathetic. I'm just going to add that to the other basket that we've got and we'll call it a day I think. It's just impossible to do the nets. It's just impossible to reach most of the fruit because I'm not that tall. I can't spread the net out. I can't fold it up and carry it to the next tree. It's just not a job for one person and it's just not a fun job to do on your own. It's fun in a group. It's not fun when you're just by yourself. So I'm going to give up on the olives for this year, officially calling it olive season over That's all of our olives for this year. I think it's around 30 kilos maybe um, for like a day of work and how much attention we paid to the trees. I think it's a decent harvest. <laughs> um, so our friends are going to take them to the mill for us, to the press, and hopefully at 15% at uh, yield, hopefully we'll get something like two, three liters mm -hmm. and buy some more from them. So. That's all right. So we've just dropped them off and uh, what are we going to do now? I don't know. Baby errands. Baby errands, yeah. <laughs> So here we are at the end of day seven. I've only just got a chance to come outside and have a look at how they've done. Well, we've got a few rows done. They've covered the rest of the tarp because it looks a little bit like it might rain, but it probably won't. You can see what they're doing here as well is sorting out this section for us. Previously, the roof came all the way out here and it was really a hazard for coming out of that door because you would just knock your head right on it. It's still a really tiny door, but they've at least like taken the roof back a little bit so that once you come out, you're not about to hit your head on a load of overhanging tiles. My original plan was to change this door as we were getting this work done, but I forgot to order the door when I ordered all the other doors. So we don't have a door to fit in that hole and uh, we'll just keep the metal door for now. One day we will change that door over and we'll have all nice new doors in the house, but uh, yeah, just slipped my mind, I guess.
Good morning, we are back at the farm today and Mauro is getting on with a little job which we decided to do before they take any more tiles off the roof. We realised that we can get a lot less dust and stuff falling into the room um, if we, what is it called, seal. like a paste seal. If we seal um, with this like sealant paste stuff any little cracks in between the boards that are on the, the ceiling. So we bought the sealant the other day and we're going to try and fill in all the cracks today so that this room doesn't get any dustier than it already is. We're not using this room as you can imagine we've moved everything downstairs all of Santi's stuff and everything has gone downstairs but just so it doesn't get any dustier than it absolutely has to how many more tubes do you think we're gonna need well I haven't finished the first one so it's actually lasting quite long so I would say for one side, maybe one more tube. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're really bad at estimating how many tubes of stuff we're going to need for any job, so... <laughs> well, this is quite hard to estimate. Yeah. It does have a measurement on here, like 15 meters, but, I mean, depends how thick you put it on, I guess. We've got some pretty big cracks to fill. Okay, Mauro is having his after lunch mate and looking after the baby, so I'm going to see if I can finish this off. Okay, well, we've used two of these and we haven't even done a quarter of the roof, almost a quarter, so we're going to need quite a few more of these. I would say I've been more, <laughs> you could say, more thorough or more wasteful than Mauro when I've been doing it, but uh, if we're going to do it, we might as well do it well and really fill in all these cracks. And uh, yeah, at least now we know how many more of these we need to get next time we go to the city. So yeah, there we are, that's it for this video. I hope you can't see what a disastrous state the greenhouse is in. I'm trying to angle the camera away from all the mess. I'll show you what a mess in here it is in another video. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Two weeks of work, um, one side of the roof pretty much done. And we are really happy that we're doing this now. It has been stressful, but I think it's so worth it. And we are really happy to be investing in this little house because even though it's not our final home here and we're going to be building something where the ruin is, it is going to be our home for the next at least three years I would imagine maybe even longer and I think it's always going to be a good investment of our time and energy and money uh, making this house as long lasting as possible it's always going to be useful to us in some way whether it's for us in the future whether it's for guests other family members um, or whatever so we're really happy to be doing this and we will update you in a couple of weeks on how the rest of the roof change goes but yeah that's it thank you for watching this video and we will see you next week